Yo, 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 it's your boy Peanut Why Not from the Why Not Show. Today with me, man, I got a heavy hitter, man. I got a heavy hitter. My dog, TJ3K. That way to fly away for those that don't know. Let them know who you is for those that don't know, man. Sorry, right, man. Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, TJ3K, man. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, okay, then. So, tell me a little bit about the, the about your music career, man. You know, my homeboy told me you had done blow. He was like, man, you know, TJ blow. I'm like, what, TJ blow? I go on there. Like, the last message I had wrote to hit me up, 2016, whoa. So tell me, tell me how it's been. Shit, man, shit, shit starting to change for a nigga, man. You know, I, it started off like bumpy and shit. I had ended up getting a little buzz and shit. I dropped shit with Yaki shit. Right. Everybody started fucking with me. You dropped the song with Kodak Black? Yeah. What's the name of that, for those that don't know? Paper Soldiers. Paper yeah. Soldiers, Kodak Black, TJ3K. You know what I'm saying? I dropped that shit in 2014. Started, yeah, I started taking over. Yeah, and you feel me? I ended up getting in a little fucked up situation, little contract shit. Contract? Yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Like, what's that like? Wait, like, how does that feel? Like, you were telling me a little bit about it, but how does that make you feel for like an artist that's coming up? What advice would you give them in yeah. regards to that? You feel me? Just watch, watch what you sign, and you feel me? I tell them like, really start do this shit by yourself. Build you a little team. You feel me? If the labels do start calling, you already got your little shit set up, so you already got a machine behind you. So you go to these labels, you telling them, I got this, I got this. You feel me? They ain't got no truth for the fuck with you. Right, you right. So that's how I'm coming. So you just, you wasn't even looking at the fact, the, the paperwork. You was looking at, okay, I'm getting all this, I'm doing all this here. Yeah. And that's how they get a lot of, that's how they get a lot of, a lot of artists. So now, with that happening to you, are you gonna start your own label based on how you know and you know in the music industry? You know the industry now because yeah. you know what it took from not having nothing to somebody wanting you. Yeah, like, I was young when that shit happened, so it was like, bitch, I ain't think I just a lot of money, you feel me? Like hoes and all that shit. I was just, <laughs> bitch, I'm just on that, you feel me? But like, right. nah, I ain't, I ain't mad that the shit happened the way it did. Right. Because it helped me learn. It helped me learn like. To not make that mistake again. Right. And yeah, in the future, I'm thinking about, you know, doing my own little label and shit. And right now, I'm just like focusing on me so I can right. just get up though. Right. And once I get right. So, shows, what you got coming? Shows, I got one on, um, I got a show coming up this week on the 7th. Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie, the 7th, man. TJ3K. Y'all down there, man. Y'all get there. Why not, man? Listen, man. If you really were here, you can see it, man. I got this thing like BBs, man. For real. I told you. <laughs> that uh, way. Yeah, man. I'm, right now, I'm working on another album. And I'm trying to go on tour after I drop that album. Tour. You got dates in mind for that? Um, did you come up with a tour name? This going to be your first tour? You going to go solo? Nah, I just came from. Mazi, Mazi. Shout out to Mazi, man. Okay, okay. And how was that experience for you? That shit was crazy, boy. <laughs> Traveling state to state. Right. Different, different shit, different hoes, different money, but it's just right. crazy, bro. But I had fun. So you like you like that experience. You like the spotlight. Now, would you say you'll be able to live that live that lifestyle every day, even getting older? Because you got to think about it. And does it affect your relationship? I always wanted to know when traveling as an artist, does it affect your relationship? Because you're dealing with different women, you know what I'm saying? You're touching different money, you know what I'm saying? You're meeting people you ain't never seen before. So what's that like? Shit, I'm good right now. I ain't got no girl, so I'm just <laughs> no vibing, but I mean. If you were, let's just say if you were in that position, like look at Gucci Mane, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what, that's what a trust ball in the play, you feel me? Like, you, you know a nigga doing this shit, trying to get money and shit, trying to, like, you know, make it happen for my people and shit, so you can feel me, you can't really, like, right. the hoes gonna come. They gonna come that's, regardless. That's what's gonna happen, but you just gotta trust a nigga to, you know, right. if I really fuck with you, I fuck with you. That way. So now, booking, if they want to book you right now, for the viewer right now that want to book you, oh yeah, that's TJ. Yeah, that's him. That's why not, too. Booking, how can they book you? 
Man, look, man, y'all, y'all wanna book me? Shit, just, just follow me on the ground or hit my manager up, Dave Dash. Maybe. Uh, phone number. Nine five four two four eight nine one zero one. Y'all hit him up, man. Booking information, man. Listen. Anything extra you want to add? Because normally, you know, we end it out. But, you know, me and TJ, you know, we got we got a bond, man. We go back since school, you know. Uh, like I told y'all, last message that we sent, when I sent 2016. So, to see you blow, bro, and to see you transition, man, I like that a lot. Um, to the to the viewers that, that, that are big fans of you, like I am, um, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna help them, man. So, so, this is what we're gonna do. For Christmas, man, we're gonna have a meet and greet. One person, one person, one, one kid. I need to see your, I need to see your report card or your last interim report, man. Meet and greet, TJ. Why not? Let's do it. Yo, yo, yo. So, normally I close out, but I ain't even gonna close out. You know, I close out. Why not, style? So, TJ, this is a little different. Interviews they end out like this here. I'm gonna end on this note. What's the word of the day? Whatever you say to inspire somebody because you know why not is to up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to that viewer right now that's like, damn man, they lucky to be doing that right now. And you know, they always hear me say it. So to hear from the, from you, it might be a different view, you know. Yeah. So what would you tell that viewer out there? What advice would you give? Manifestation. Whatever you, whatever you think you can do, you can do it. Ain't nothing impossible. Do that shit. Don't let nobody tell you can't do it. Do that shit. Fuck it. Manifestation. Be motivated. Be driven. TJ3K. Peanut. Why not? Why not be great? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that that point.